Due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back to the other side of the beehive. It's your weekly boys episode 195. Dude, one nine or five or we're fucking cinco away from the biggest party Utah has ever seen. Wait, what? <clears throat> <laughs> Yo, look at these kicks right here. Look what at these those? fucking kicks. I've had them for a while, but I don't I don't know how I feel about these. About this. So <clears throat> all the ones that I see are like that are really expensive. And I'm like, well, I could have put those together. <laughs> <laughs> like I could have done that. Like <laughs> are those those are like the you oh yo, those are dope shoes and you buy them on wish and they come <laughs> like that. But that's really what they are. But did you uh They're um, not like rolled corners, they're like uh yeah, yeah, yeah. What are those? I don't know. Some black ones. Did you uh, did you go for anything this week? I got those Billie Eilish today. Oh, the green ones? With the Velcros. The... No. No, I yeah, didn't go for anything. And the blue ones. No, I got these ones. Nice. Uh, but I didn't. I, I've slowed my roll. Those are pretty sick. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Jordan 1. Ooh, I uh, like the sole. Carbons. They're 25% uh, recycled material. <laughs> But yeah, the soles are pretty fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say it's uh, twenty five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I didn't have any black ones. Now I got a pair of black ones. Hmm. Yeah. Yo, uh, requesting permission to permission to bitch a little bit. Okay. I'm sick and tired with the complex having something going on every fucking week, dude. Every time we come here, we have, I have to, to battle fight. for a fucking parking spot. And you know what pisses me off is I come up to this this. Uh, intersection right here mm -hmm. and i've always got to sit there and wait for fucking ignorant ass people walking across the street yeah, and yeah. people turning stopping in the middle of the road yeah, yeah. looking for a parking spot that happened and to so, me today now like these an asshole and i know i do and i don't give a fuck <laughs> i blow past them because i'm like get the fuck out of the road yeah, yeah, yeah. i know what you're doing i have a code to get in behind the <laughs> gates and people watch me go in there they're all oh they the same thing happened to me today somebody fucking right behind me and i went in there and i went doot, 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 doot. and uh you know, the whole gate open. Good morning, Angel. You know, and the guys are looking at me like, Ooh. but it's so funny because they look, they look at it like, is that private? I'm like, bitch, I just put a fucking code yeah, in. Right. And you know what I do when they do that? Because I've had a couple people get right behind me. I pull in I and I know, stop. I need to know who's playing because they, they all look Latin. There was a lot of Latin. There were a lot of Latinos. Around, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, but it's every, every, uh, Every week. And it sucks, dude. I'm dumping my fucking cards here that for players that are not with us anymore. I did <laughs> watch they the <laughs> <laughs> They're no longer with us. I did uh I did watch the uh the uh jazz last week. Yeah. Didn't finish it. I'll tell you what I did. I, I don't know, for some reason showing Saturday, not Friday. I'll tell you what I did though. I finished Dahmer. I still haven't finished it. I think I got two episodes. You left. read my ass last weekend for yeah, that, because dude. I like watched it weeks ago, and you were like, "No, I haven't got to it. No, I haven't got to it. No, I haven't got to it." Dude, I, now that I'm so fucking busy, I, I just haven't been able to finish it. <laughs> I've been watching six episodes. Oh wow! Now here's the thing, and I will say this, and I'm gonna sound like a. I mean, I know how it ends. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no spoilers. Yeah, no, I mean, you can you can open the news, but is is it me? Everything on Facebook or Instagram is is Dahmer related oh, now. Did you see right? my story today on Instagram? Yes, that kid. <laughs> what um, a great idea. I know. Um, uh, now here's the thing, though. I watched it, and by the time I was like, you get to that point where you're like, "There's one more episode. There's one more," and it's like ten thirty, right? Yeah. Now I'm home alone in a house that I been there for a year now here's my thing if i'm downstairs and my lights are off my tv's on and i'm ready to go to sleep if i hear a noise i go but that's brian but brian hasn't been there <laughs> so now i'm sitting there and i'm watching this fucking guy kill people and then all i hear is like dude every now and then i don't know if it's because of the wood kind of like expands oh, yeah. and, you know strings or whatever but it sounds like there's somebody like stepping on them, like waking up and go, you know, like that wood goes oh, like that. Yeah. And then I go, you all right? Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. And, uh, and, and, and I, and like in my head, I'm like, 
Well, Dumber's dead, right? I mean, we <laughs> we know that for a fact, <laughs> right? But yeah, dude. So I finished it, and uh, and then surprisingly, yesterday I went I went to work and I uh, I was scrolling through uh, Facebook and I found that someone posted this the the interview of not the interview the when Tracy Edwards, which is the guy that escaped on his uh, his day in court. And it was like a half hour. I mean, I didn't finish. It was like a half hour video. Of just uh, him, oh, like, was that the guy that, yeah, that got were, away? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. they were asking him, you know what happened? You can see him. He's like reliving the moments and he's like choking up and shit. And then they they point the camera to Dumber and he's just like, no f- face expression, nothing, dude. It's just like, whatever, dude. That spooks you out? Mm, I mean... Obviously, once I got done, then I, you know, put him, you know, my little pony. And I was like, oh, this is, I'm good. Because I watched the other, speaking of this, I watched, um, I, I was just flipping through Amazon and it was <clears throat> like. In Diana Jones? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Foreskin go. <gump. laughs> um, it was uh, like um, the world's most. Haunted mysteries or whatever. Oh, dude, fuck no. But it was real shit yeah, and yeah, like yeah. real shit caught on video. I was, now I watch that stuff. I'm like, obviously the wife's wor- uh, at work, yeah, right? Really- the kids are upstairs sleeping and I hear that <laughs> upstairs. Oh. I look over and the dogs are, the, when the dog goes, yeah, then dude. You're, then I'm like, oh, oh my God. Fuck. <laughs> so I'm, turn that off. I'll, I'll watch another episode of Married with Children. Oprah right now. <laughs> Oh, dude. I got, I got I use, that shit usually doesn't scare me, but there's something about it. I got something to show you. <laughs> what am I looking at? My asshole. Oh, <laughs> you kept it? You kept it? <laughs> Well, it's still in the fucking, it's still in my garbage. I thought this was like a fedora you had bought, like one of those sun hats. That's <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> You've got a perfectly rounded asshole. Are you stretching it? No. It's, on the bottom? No, I just put them on and bent over. <laughs> will, you, will you share that? We should put that. <laughs> we'll put that on our Patreon. You know what Dre says, what's that sound? <laughs> What's this picture? <laughs> I just zoom in on my fucking cornhole. <laughs> we'll give away 50 bucks. <laughs> Nobody touches it with a 10 foot pole. You imagine it blows up more than dress Espanol. It's like everybody just calls. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, shout out to. Uh, oh, you're going to be out of town, but I'll say it here. Next Friday, we're celebrating DJ Bad Boy Brian, 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 Brian. Uh, his birthday. Oh, he's an October birthday his boy, birthday, isn't he? His birthday's on the 19th, which is, it's just, uh, what, well, Wednesday? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. So, um, he, he came in yesterday, and I go, hey, did you, uh, is that this Friday or next Friday? It's on next Friday. I was like, all right, cool. Who are you going to have on the podcast? You have a special guest coming? Well, speaking of, I was going to have... Brian and he was going to have like two or three DJs to play for him. So he, that way he goes and enjoys, but I think one of them flaked out. So now he has to be there and he goes, but since it's my birthday, I'm going to play early. So by the time the other guys go up, I'm already gotcha. partying. Yeah. I asked uh, the pot father himself yesterday. He says, fuck that piece of shit. Yeah, podcast. That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. Um, yeah, I mean, I got, I got some ideas that I'll, I'll run by you when we're done. But, um, I'll just do a solo, dude. Fuck it. Would you, if you couldn't get anybody, would you do a solo episode? Um, I don't think so. I think I, you know, I could, I could. Uh, obviously I'll have somebody that's going to happen for show, but I'm saying like, if I wasn't, I'm, I'm sure I can find somebody, but I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Like at this point in, in the, in this podcast, when for us to be like, Oh, I'm going to, I want to keep going. I'll do it myself. Like, yeah. I, I, I could, I could call uh, Dalton. We can see his house from here. Oh yeah. Huh? 
Um, God, I was going to say, I wonder if I could record one. Um, my weekend is so fucked. Yeah. And then I, so I have to go to work on Monday because my, the other scheduler Mm -hmm. is out of town. Mm -hmm. So the day he gets back is the day I leave. So I'm Mm. like, fingers crossed. Everything goes off without a fucking hitch. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got a busy ass week. I mean, we've had a busy ass week at the house. I mean, we talked about a little bit of that. What's going down in the old Simmons home front. But, um, yeah, dude, I, I, let me ask you this. Three o'clock on the dot, 3 a.m. on the dot, mm. every fucking day I wake up. You go pee? No. You just up for the day? I just wake up. I'm like, I wake up, I look at the clock, and I'm like, I'll go back to sleep. At 5 30, 5 45, about when my alarm's getting ready to go off, I just get out of bed. I cannot go back to sleep. Mm. I think I'm going to go to the doctor. It's getting bad. What do you think it is? I don't know. Because it's not like I... I don't stay up late. Yeah. I never stay up late. Like, late for me, like 11, and I'm like, oh, man. that's, yeah, so that's, that's The sun's that's getting ready to come up, right? But I go to bed 10, 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, I just can't go back to sleep. I don't know what it is. And it's like... Never fails. It's like the same fucking time, three o'clock on the money. Now, what do you think about this? I and and this is because I I know that it's it's connected and linked up somehow. But would you say this started with your diet? Mm, How long no, has this been because happening? I've been cheating like a motherfucker lately. Damn, I've not been doing very. Fuck. I've not been doing very good with my <laughs> diet. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I will tell you this though. Um, I've always talked about I have wrist problems when I'm on my diet. Wrist? I don't have any. Yeah, my wrist okay. problems. I don't have wrist problems. That's Isn't that a, weird how shit's connected? The sugar and the carbs really fuck with my body. Mm. And if I stay away from that shit, which is the hardest thing in the world to do, um, my body, my inflammation goes way down. Yeah. And I, I, I feel really good, but if I fuck up, I feel it. <clears throat> but lately, uh, so I had... Dude, I had a slice of pizza last night, and it fucked my world up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened to me? I I I, uh, I went grocery shopping last last weekend, and I had it all lined up for my shit uh, during the week. And well, you you boy ran out of ran out of uh, uh, a very specific item that I need on Thursday. And Tampons? Like, Fuck yeah! And I was like. Fuck man. So then <laughs> Summer's Eve. So then <laughs> Summer's Eve. And then I went to I went to in the, the Espanol yesterday. And on the way back I was like, I'll just stop at McDonald's. It's still my I'm all, still eating once a day. And uh and so I pull up, dude, twenty five minutes in the in the waiting line. You're like, well, you what the fuck? Yeah. And I don't know why. <clears throat> When you have that person in front of you, and th- and this happens to me in the ATM too, and they take forever. Like I, I literally just want to get out and says, "Yo, can I help you?" Because ATM is like you slide your card in. Like you, you've done it so many times, you should know how this goes. You should know the order of how shit's gonna go. So you put your card in. It's gonna tell you, "Hey, welcome. Hey. Good morning, Angel." I get you. <laughs> Enter your pin code. Exactly. Yes. You put your pin, cash. Uh, or withdraw, and then it's like you want you know your savings, your fucking whatevers, and then this, this, and that's it. You just wait for the. T- 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 it, <laughs> it's almost like the people that do it like do it, and then it shows your balance is you have a balance of two dollars and thirty seven cents, and, then you're, like, and oh. then you're like, if I pull my card back out and I check it again, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe there'll be more money like the in the next time. You open the fridge, do this more. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's> not, <laughs> that's what I think. But I, I the same thing. <laughs> But the problem is, is now ATM machines. Yeah. Why do you say ATM machines? So ATMs, excuse me, my yeah. bad, right? Now you can deposit money into it. Oh, that's right. At least my that's bank. Right. So yeah, yeah. now people are taking way longer because they're basically banking from that that's fucking right. thing, right? So it's the... So you know how there's the ATM on this side and then the two, or at least in the bank that I got by the house, the, the two lanes that are in the middle in between the last one and the building. It's where that tube goes, you yeah. know? Are they depositing? Or withdrawing. You can take money out there? Absolutely. Hmm. 
What have you, you've never taken money I've out? I've always done the ATM. Because to me, it's the fastest. That's why when, when someone's there taking their obviously time. Obviously not. I fucking drive me yeah, absolutely. I'm like, dude, what, are, you, are you reading the Braille side of it? What the fuck are you obviously doing? Obviously not. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> but it's just like the one person. And, and it's the same thing. Like, when I go to McDonald's, I know exactly what I'm going to order. Now, the difference is whether I have three McDoubles or two McDoubles. They still have McDoubles. Oh yeah, dude. That's my favorite. What's burger. the what's on the McDouble? It's, it's the one dollar. It's just the 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 two patties, cheese, and two McDoubles. Yo, two McDoubles, no pickles, large fries, large Powerade, six piece chicken nuggets with honey mustard, and an ice cream cone. Jesus Christ, and an dude! An ice cream cone. You know, it's my. Yo, every now and then I get lucky, and there's there's this there's this chocolate kid that works in there, the one by the house. Yo, every time he gets to give me my ice cream cone, I kid you not, dude, it's a fucking cold stone size of this oh, fucking thing. Yeah. And I go, yes. Like when I see him there, I go, oh, fuck, this is going to be a I'm, I'm getting my ice one. cream. And I'm <laughs> farting my ass off all day, all night long. But it's just so big. Like, so, but, some if of this girl, at, but if it's that random fat But if it's shit, my cousin, the yeah. worst thing. <laughs> you, you get the kid size. If it's my right? fucking quinceanera cousin, she's just like, <laughs> like, here we go. And it's all melting and shit. I'm like, fuck, man. But that kid. He just like, and he's talking to other people and he's just going down and down. And I'm like, oh yeah, dude, give me some of that shit. It's so good. Do you like McDonald's ice cream? Yeah, huh? dude. But it's not ice cream, right? It's not soft real ice serve. cream. Soft serve. What's the difference? One's soft serve, one's ice cream. I think it's ice cream. I just think it's the machine. A soft serve ice cream machine. Have you <clears> noticed? Do, do you eat there? Uh, you eat the ice cream? Every by the way, once in a while. No, I very, very rarely get ice cream. <laughs> by the way, I got there. a text. <laughs> Two days ago, <laughs> all he said was, "Who the fuck goes to Crown Burger for salad?" <laughs> I'm like fucking Simmons. That's whom. <laughs> By the way, I decided. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you, but he lives in the uh, Uena Basin. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm, I think I wanna adapt the uh, the Joey Diaz. Thing, and I'm gonna call everybody by their full names from now on, like Dre Rocka, Justin, Dre Rocka. Justin Simmons, Queen Cole, <laughs> and I'm gonna call him Cocksucker. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell girls to watch their monkey. <laughs> Do you remember when fucking Kobe was happening? And fucking was it you that told me this, or I saw it somewhere else? He was like, he was talking about. Some kind of vitamins or something, but but it was related. Like he he mentioned COVID on his on his on his uh, promo, <clears throat> and he was like, "So if you're used to eating their muffler, <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Muffler, you, dude. He, he has <laughs> he has some of the most outlandish fucking things. He's like, gotta make sure your muffler's clean. George Cock always sucker. says, <laughs> George always says the poop shoot, the poop shoot. <laughs> George Lee, George Lee always says the poop shoot. I like I like mud whistle. I do like mud whistle. Ooh, I like the poop conveyor. That's what I. That's what I say. That, that sounds gross. Oh, well, that's what it's for. Yes, it yes. <laughs> <laughs> Muffler. The funniest one I've ever <clears throat> fucking heard him talk about was when he was talking about um, eating pussy. And he says, you know what my, he's all, dog, you know what my favorite is? And he says, it was, uh, oh, the, oh, he was talking to, um, oh, he's just on uh, uh, Fighter and the Kid, Josh Wolf. Oh, yeah, He yeah, was yeah. talking to him. And he's all, you know what my favorite is? He's all, when, when you get those girls that go out for those long, when you get those girls that go out for those long jogs, and they get back all sweaty, he's all, you get down in that ass crack and it smells like gunpowder. <laughs> Gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude! He has this thing where uh, with uh, Ryan Sickler, you know who that is? Yeah, uh, the Honeydew. That Ryan Sickler, his podcast is about people. You know the, the the people that we know, comedians and stuff. They go there and they tell they tell stories, <clears throat> and uh, and he has this thing where every time that Joey Diaz goes. Uh, they they he's taking it year by year, so they're like, all right, where, where do we left off? And he's like, oh, last time you were ninety two, and it was like, oh, ninety three. Oh, that was that was that was a good year. And then he starts telling <laughs> yeah. his his stories, dude. <laughs> dude, the funniest thing 
Have you seen how Ryan Sickler laughs? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. You know he has it on his Patreon. He has it as a ringtone. Oh really? He goes, <laughs> It is so funny, dude. When, yeah, <laughs> That's when, a pretty good impression I it, of it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my fucking laugh, dude. When I hear it on the video, oh my god, it's so stupid. I think everybody hates their laugh. I want to have a Chanel West Coast laugh. Oh no! <laughs> I was telling the girl that That's I don't know if I told worst. her. I was telling the girl that was my dress. I'm like, I love her laugh, and I showed her. She, she's like, she sounds like a dolphin. <laughs> she does, huh? She does. She's pregos, dude. Oh really? <clears throat> I didn't know that. Just pregos. Also, the what's the name of that guy? DJ Khaled? No. Uh, the guy that's there with the uh, uh, ridiculousness. Oh. Uh, CeeLo Green? CeeLo. CeeLo Brim. CeeLo. Whatever. CeeLo Brim. Yeah. yeah. Um, Is it his kid? He's a, no, he's, an, pff, no. Oh. he's another. No. Uh, he's another one of my fashion icons. He does dress uh, <clears throat> very fashionable, yeah. right? He's got good sneaks. He does always have a different pair of sneaks, right? Yeah. See, like to see his collection. Hell yeah. Rob Deerdick, for like a skater guy, always dresses yeah. pretty fresh, right? For a white guy. You know what? You know one of the episodes that come out every now and then it drives me nuts? He has his parents there. Yeah. And his mom is like a very strict yeah. woman. And then he's like, Mom, what, what, do you, what don't you like about the... And he's like, this swearing. <clears throat> that's what makes the fucking but I, show. But I think he loves making him uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like his parents. And then, did you ever watch the Jeff Green show? Mm hmm. Or was that what his name was? No. What Tom was his Green. name? Tom Green. Yeah. Jeff Green. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> Yo. Remind me. Okay. After the podcast. <laughs> anyway, do you remember when he had his parents on and he would do the most fucked up shit? To his parents, because they were like that too, very strict, yeah. very vanilla. I like when. What about uh, Margera with this fucking? Yeah, same thing. Parent. When when they would just go <clears throat> outlandish on their fucking parents. When he, when when Phil would be taking a shit and they just walk in and start smacking slap the shit, shit out, out of him. his fucking <laughs> belly, <laughs> and his dad so come on, man. <laughs> Man. Come on, damn it, man. <laughs> and he sits there, he doesn't do anything about it. <laughs> and then in Jack, as they put that fucking huge alligator in the fucking living room, and <laughs> what's the name of his mom? <clears throat> He's like, Is that real? Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, I've been meaning to, to uh, uh, mention this. Uh, Mark Norman went to uh, Stevo's. Steve-O's. You know Steve-O has a podcast? I know he has a podcast. Has, I have a he, hard time listening to his voice. It's oh like yeah. listening to my own voice. <laughs> like, listening to us clearing our throats? Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> I can't. I, I listen to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It drives yeah. me nuts, dude. Is that So is that because of drugs? I don't think it's because of drugs. I think he always had that voice. But I think screaming and all that... Um, not so much drugs, but he huffed nitrous like a motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, probably then. You know who I just... Yesterday, my uh, my son Steve-O called me. Oh. Steve-O Green. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and he was going to be like, fuck you, dude. Um, but we were trying to figure it out if... Uh, oh, you remember uh, Howie? Yeah. And he was trying to figure out, do you remember that job that we did here and here? Wasn't him doing the sand? I'm like, as far as I remember, and I can hear how we in the back. Wasn't me. And and uh, and, I could, and, and, and Steve was like, shut up. <laughs> and I said, I, you know what? I'm like, as, as far as I remember, I said, he's never been in the sand truck. He's always been in a dump truck. And uh, so we're trying to come up with who was it, right? And... Uh, and then we started talking. I, I won't say his name. Do you remember that guy that was in the sand in the sand trucks? They had a fucked up voice. Yes. <clears throat> he ended up passing. He's away. no longer with yeah, us. Yeah, he's no longer with us. I used to call him Bobcat. Oh yeah. Or uh, Wolfman Jack. I can't remember one or the other, but he sounded like that. Yeah. yeah. He. I was like, was that that guy? Because we we were kind of close to him. Yeah. And uh, I said, was that guy? He's like, he's like, no, I remember him. It was, it was Howie. And I'm like, I don't think it. he's like, it wasn't me. It was in the back. It's still Howie. How it wasn't me. <clears throat> Fat guy. It was good talking to, uh, <laughs> it was good talking to Steve-O. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm in the job of our dreams right now. Oh, really? And he's like, no, I was, I'm telling him. No, that's why I said, oh, yeah. really? So I'm like, he's like, 
Why? And I'm like, I'm in like a, how would you say that is? 20 acre spot? More than that? Mm hmm. And I have a mountain, an insane amount of, an, ins, an insane huge mountain of dirt that I gotta get rid of. We're probably gonna be here for months. And he's like, damn, dude, that sounds fun. So I wanna get gang banged by truck drivers. <clears throat> but we're building a <clears throat> dam. Oh, on the other side, where, where it's going? Yeah. yeah. I checked in with my uh, my boss came in t- uh, yesterday. He goes, "Wow, it looks looks good here." Because when when we got there on Monday, it was just like what this little. Have you seen it? No. This little tiny I've entrance. I've seen the plans <clears throat> of it, but I've never seen it in person. This little tiny entrance, and it was made by people. You know, it wasn't like that. So he, he had like a, a little tiny entrance, and it goes into like a bowl, and then just dirt goes up top and. And so I clean the, I clean all the sagebrush and all the trees and all the stuff, and then I put gravel and shit so it goes up. And I mean, now it's like a huge entrance. So he came in and he's all cleaned up, and he's like, "He's like, man, it looks good here." Just, Monday morning, they gave me a fucking to, <laughs> to keep my loads. Oh, really? <laughs> a load counter? <laughs> yeah. It's like just keep your shit counted. I was like, all right, all right, all right. So this whole time I'm like getting ready for Monday. Dude, Monday's gonna be like, Monday's gonna be fun. Mine's gonna be dusty like a motherfucker. Yeah. But it's gonna be fun. Should be a good job though. Yeah. Not too far from home. Pretty relaxed. Yeah. It's been fun to be there alone too. <clears throat> oh, I think so. Um yeah, we're uh we're actually starting to recoup some of our individuals. We've been pretty strung out, pretty Low on help. Yeah. We're starting to recoup. We're we're coming. We're we've, I think we've hit the pinnacle. Is what we say. <clears throat> it's all downhill from here. But I'll tell you what. I'm praying for snow. <laughs> I'm praying for snow, my friend. Because I need a break. <laughs> I'm burned out, dude. I'm burned out. I'm guessing. Dude, oh I'll tell the shit! It's been a long about, year. Dude. I mean, and you know what? And, and I don't even think it's just us. I think just 2020 in general has just been a fucking joke. Two years ago? 2020? Two? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, I was talking about my side. <laughs> that's, how, that's how bad it is. <laughs> You're scheduling things. Yeah, I, just, I just forget about, I just stop time itself. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. Uh, 2020, I'm like, yeah, COVID's brand I'm, new. I'm excited for, uh, for this winter. I really am. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird to be. I mean, we. I I feel like we say it every fucking year, but now we're like October and we're still still kind of kicking ass, hotish on, yeah. on, on during the day. Absolutely, but it's perfect. It's perfect weather. Like if it could be this high seventies all the time, low eighties. Oh, I fucks with that. You know what's funny is like over in this place since it's all dirt. Uh, every day there's a new kid on a dirt bike that wants to go up and he sees me and he's like oh man oh, he fuck. doesn't look the same mother <laughs> fucking go down <laughs> here you go ruining everything dude then there was a guy that went in there and he's like <laughs> i was on the other side and i uh, i looked at him and he's like he rode up and then once he got to the top and he's just riding like coasting and seeing everything change he's so like he's so looking like wow this is this is different i was like you should get a dirt bike. Yeah, I should? And ride it with whom? Well, I don't know. You don't ride the dirt road bike. You, you don't got, have one either. So. So who am I going to ride it with? Oh, well, you can follow Dan us. Dan has one. Dan has us. one of those. Huh? You can follow us. Dan has one with, uh, <clears throat> with uh, you can take off the tire and put a sled track on it. <clears throat> oh, nice. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. But could you fuck around in snow? Also, he has two bikes. Relax, Dan. You fuck around in the snow? I've done the snowmobiling. Snowmobiling once. Did or you twice. enjoy it? I did enjoy it, but it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, snowboarding because I never did it again. Because I was able to. Obviously, my first time it was like I just want to go fast, right? So you just want to go e, and then I was I took off with everybody else until I saw everybody else grab that. You know, you know how they pull the side of it and grab that heel and go up, and I just went. Ee. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, how do I go there? <clears throat> but the last time we went, we got caught in like a huge storm, and um, 
my boss back then he he took he's the one that rented all that stuff for us and he took off and then i ended up with the other guy and the other guy knew his shit when it comes to when he when he came to snowmobiles but we just lost him <clears throat> you were left for like an hour looking for him I was like and obviously he's like well you stay here in case he comes back right i'll be back and then i'm over there by myself i'm like that happens all the time riding even side by sides really some asshole always wanders off from the pack, right? There's no <laughs> cell signal. <laughs> You're just no. back to the old and the, school And the game. thing about snowmobiling is, like, you can get stuck at any time. Yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. you're fucked. Dude, when I was, I was, I was, I remember I was riding, and, uh, and I was, somehow I ended up being in the front, and then my then boss caught up with me on the side, and he goes, turn around. He says, turn around and go back. And I was like, okay. And I turned around. Apparently, it was one of those, uh, like a creek. They got, f- you know, f- full with feet and feet of snow. So all that snow wasn't packed. So if I would have gone there, I would have been sunk just right shoot. in it. And he's like, dude, you do. He's like, you got to follow us. I was like, all right. But then they took off over the hill. And I go, what the <laughs> fuck? Do you not know how to turn it? No, I know how to turn it, but you know how like it's it's a uh, you put one foot on it, the other side, you lean over on yeah, it, yeah, and you yeah. get the sled but on the side. But it's not like it's not like the 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 snowmobile is looking like this, right? So you can just take off. It was like from going like this, they just got up and go. That guy had a he had, has money, obviously. So he put he had his uh, snowmobile to have uh, heaters. On, on, no, but on both sides he had uh, a throttle, hmm. so he can lean on this side and. You know, oh wow! And and also he had a Quadzilla Suzuki. That's a four wheeler. Yeah, and he ran off of jet fuel, nitrous. <clears throat> Relax, dude. You gotta go fast. You gotta go faster, faster. You know what I want for Christmas? <clears throat> Your two front teeth. <clears throat> I want a either an a Nintendo NES. NES? The original, the OG? Super Nintendo. Because I never had that when I was a kid. And it has to come with Ninja Turtles. The original. The and if you want the Ninja Turtle one, you want the Super NES then. Mm-hmm. I had the original NES. Do you? Yeah. Like, I, my parents only bought me shitty <laughs> games. <though. laughs> Hard-ass <laughs> games. I bitched at my mom the other day because she was like, well, I never, I never knew you wanted it. I'm like... Every fucking kid wanted it. And I went from Atari yeah, to buy my own fucking That's the worst Xbox. excuse ever, bitch. What are you telling me I never wanted <laughs> what it? What, like I didn't speak English or something? Or, or, or Spanish? Or Spanish, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I didn't want it. You know, how many times I put that on my Christmas list? Do you remember how many times yeah, I went no, to my cousin's? No, no, Remember how many no times good. I went sleepover with my cousin? Yeah, he had both of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to spend time in the house. <clears throat> no, I got the original... Um, <clears throat> Nintendo system. I uh, I had obviously Super Mario and Duck Hunt, right? Ooh. And then <laughs> they bought me uh, Top Gun, Ooh. the game. But I had the joystick too. Oh, hardest game in the world. Really? You could fly the mission, the first mission, landing that cocksucker, impossible, impossible to land it on the fucking aircraft carrier. So I never got past the first mission. Yeah. Um, and then I got Zelda. I, I, you want to talk I was, about I was just brain gonna, dead, <clears throat> hard as fuck. I was just going to say Zelda was the biggest pain in the ass for me. But it was gold, remember? Gold. The cartridge was gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah I never got a Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. My, my parents bypassed that, and I went straight to Sega Genesis. Nice. So I had, uh, you know, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a, you gotta go fast. And, and I got uh, Mortal Kombat. I fucks with the Mortal Kombat back then. But in the Sega Genesis one, there was blood. In the Nintendo one, it was like sweat. Sweat. Yeah, so like when you punched him, oh, it was yeah, like oh, yeah, kind yeah. of like gray. Oh, yeah. It would come off him. But in yeah. the Sega one, it was, it was, it the was bloody, out. right? Yeah. You know what I, I found a couple couple weeks ago? I went to Dave and Buster's, and we did the whole arcade shit. Can't find uh, Street Fighter anymore. Legendary game. The original Street Fighter? Fucks yeah. Can't find it anymore. 
Do you remember Alter Beast? <clears throat> Mm-mm. That was a fun game. It was kind of like that, but it had different characters. But it was like the same premises of like a Street Fighter, it was fast fighting. Mortal Kombat was good too. Yeah, but Mortal Kombat was. I mean, it was it was cool and everything, but it was like Street Fighter was a lot faster. Yeah, like there was it was just different because it was more it was cartoon looking instead of came absolutely, out. Yeah. absolutely. And I can never find it. It pisses me off because they have everything else. But you can, I, they don't have Mortal Kombat either. So you can buy like a, a regular Nintendo and get all the fucking games for pretty goddamn cheap. They come preloaded to the damn thing for pretty cheap. My friend, uh, a long time ago, my friend Emily was married to this guy. He was like a he was like a brainiac, and he had built a computer and stuck it into a uh, an arcade, and he had. Every fucking game you can yeah. think of. <clears throat> I've seen a couple of those. It was just like, just choose out of hundreds and hundreds of games, dude. And they had it right there in the living room. There's something nostalgic about those old Atari and like Nintendo games. Like I get the new games are all cool looking and shit, but it. But I've never been a gamer, so I guess it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, neither have I. But when it takes me back to a time when I actually did enjoy playing video games as a kid. Do you remember when we made Dre Rocka? They had like. They had like see Dre Rocker. They had like episodes on their on their old uh, podcast when they were playing video games. And you're just like, oh, that's right, huh? Well, we, we, used used to, we used to roast them. Remember when we had them here the first time? And we, I was like, what do you guys? Are you guys not adults? <laughs> it's like they were like, we shut the roasted fuck up. them after that, didn't we? And then they stopped playing those video games, didn't they? <laughs> they stopped talking too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> what was that guy that was on? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. <laughs> Yo, that was the oh, that was a long time ago. Like, can you think about this? Um, we're f- five months away from doing this for four years. I know it's crazy. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. In fact, your boy uh, listened to a couple of oldies today. Oh no! Today was you a went rough, way back. Today huh? was a rough day. Why? Some things, but uh, um, yeah, and I just like you. You see the difference. Like I, I hear us talking. We're like, oh my god, we're awful. <laughs> like the fact that we stuck around and we go, we got it. When I got, I got a mustache hair that is fucking my nose and it's bugging the shit out of me. Anyway, yeah. So I, uh, you like you hear us talk and I go <sighs> that horrible audio from our first setup. And then when people go, no, I started from the... I'm like, oh, oh, no wonder God. no wonder, nobody else listens to us. <laughs> Don't do that. Start from the top and go from the bottom. Don't go from the bottom up to the top. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Don't do that. Hmm. But yeah, it's so crazy how, how much we've changed. When, when you listen to podcasts, stash. if you, if you uh, find a new podcast, do you start from the very beginning? Or do no. you start from the latest no, no. and then go? You know who's <clears throat> the only one that I've done that with? It's the basement yard. Yeah. Because when I started, I was like, oh, yeah, this is fun. And then I'm like, I should. Back then, he had like, he probably had as much as we did now, as much as we do now. So I was like, oh, I should. And I think it was very fucking close because I would because I would start from the. So I would listen to the newest one on Monday. Right. And then once I get that done, I'm like, which one did I end up with? And then I would start listening from the way back all the way to the, to the front. And like, that's when I was thinking, this is fucking fun. This guy has his fucking friends. They're doing games. He had his girlfriend back then, and he had his his brother, and he had his whole family. No, that's that's he's the one that started. Like, you okay give, over give there? A, I'm just burping and fucking gagging and deep throwing over here. Uh, he's the one that he's the one that made me go. Oh, this is I should I should fucking do this. So. <laughs> but yeah, dude, almost four, four years. Yeah. What are you gonna do for four? Is it? I guess we don't celebrate the years anymore, right? Or no, celebrate the hundreds. No, I just think of the hundreds are kind of a landmark, right? But it's crazy because I see a lot of podcasts out there. But I, I obviously know that because we just do it once a week. It's yeah. This uh, radio from hell is celebrating their eight thousandth episode. Wow huge milestone how long is that 
Fuck, dude. Imagine you got, you got <coughs> 50. Okay, so you got what, 52 weeks? Well, because I guess <coughs> you, you can't have a real good calculation because they don't do it on the weekends, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if it's 52 and it's five for every one of them. Oh, that's not right. 8,000. Um, <clears throat> no, well. How many, how many weeks? 52 ex- weeks a There's year? 52 weeks in a year, but you've got to exclude the weekends because they go five days a week. Okay, so 52 times five, right? Mm. And, then you get, and then you get the amount of. 260. So okay. if we go 8,000. 30 <laughs> years? Shit. Yeah, dude. No way. But I think they started. <clears throat> I think the two guys started way before, before the girl. Uh, Gina. Gina. Gina, what's Do up? Do you listen to them? I used to. I used to religiously. I did too. And I, I started to <clears throat> when Mick and Allen went away. Yeah. Then Mick and Allen came back. Yeah. And that's kind of what I went back to. You know what? But then podcasting entered yeah, my yeah. life, and I've not t- listened to a radio program. And you know, sorry, Dre. Y- y- <laughs> <laughs> Do you know uh, what what made it? So I was like, I'm done with this because it was it it was the same show every week. Yeah. So Mondays they do this. Tuesday they do this. Right. But, you know what I mean? And, and by the I mean, I'm not trying to take any credit. I mean, eight thousand no, fucking episodes. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Like it's, you guys are it's, on it's the, podca- on the it's top. podcasting. It's podcasting exactly. back then, right? Exactly. So the fact that they reached that milestone is is huge, but it was just like, Oh, it's Wednesday, they're gonna do the things that this or whatever and, and, and I was just like There was a guy I cannot remember what station was his name was Jubal Jubal and somebody else and I've he, never even heard that and he will have I, th- I think I think he quit radio to do to follow uh, to pursue stand up as far as I know so I used to listen to it when I was in company two and my boss used to listen to me like we used to listen to it on the way to work and they will have a they will have a thing where um, like I will say Let's just say you and I are friends, and oh, we're not friends. Let's just pretend we're friends, right? For the sake of the show, and let's just say that you hate being interrupted by somebody, right? So I will call the radio, and then he will get like the details, and then he will call you. Obviously, this is pre-recorded. I'm guessing, right, so they right, just drop it absolutely. on the spot. But they was like, "Hey, can I may I speak with uh, Mr. Longballs?" And I was like, "Yeah, this is him." I said, "Hey, you know what? You just uh, I just want you to know that your truck." Payment is late or whatever, and then you will say no, because no, I'll be honest with you, because and he was like, okay, but let me finish. You will say right, like that yeah. person will say like, well, let me finish, because I will say I'll be honest with you. It says you don't want to have late payments, because so this is gonna happen. It's like, well, let me finish. And you can see that people are gonna be pissed, but it was like it was like the same thing every Tuesday or whatever. So that structure of having the same thing, that format, that's what kind of threw me off. Yeah. Like, well, now I know what's gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah, but. Hey, 8,000 episodes. Yeah, congratulations yeah, to them. Here we are with 200. We're going to get our, yeah, our, pa- our no, panties in the I mean, but, what it is, <laughs> but for what it is, I mean, it's hard to have longevity in entertainment, period, right? Yeah. There's only so many bands out there that stick around for so many years, like a one percenter, right, of, of, of music that puts, or bands that put <clears> music <throat> out. There's one percenter of comedians that come out that are consistent, you know, uh, radio DJs, you mm. know, and everything. And um, Joe Coy is coming. He is. Have you seen his fucking special? No, I haven't. You either. must, dude. I have showed this to two people. So he, he goes on a, uh, uh, I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to talk about it because it's so fucking funny. You guys got to watch it. But he goes into a, uh, uh, like a 50 minutes into like the sleep apnea because he has that. Oh, dude. It is. Like, I was in tears and then I showed my mom because her husband has it and my little brother has it too. So I'm like, you guys got to watch. Dude, it is the funniest shit. And those, <laughs> those remember those brown shoes with the little orange? Yeah, I was going to say, he's got fucking. Yeah, he's a, he's a shoe head. He's, he's got kicks. Uh, uh, he's wearing those exact ones in his special. And I was uh, like, oh, the elephants. The what? The el- the elephants. The, oh, okay, my, yeah, The yeah, brown yeah, ones yeah. with yeah, the yeah. orange scenes. He's wearing those. I was like, all right. 
right. I guess I'll, I guess Yo, I'll legit. How about those ones you sent me? Those are they the day of the day dead. Of death. Oh, dude, those those, those Jordans. Are sexual. <clears throat> I gotta have those. Those ones. are fucking sexual. I don't know where they come out. Um, also, I think it's it's either this month or next month. The uh, OGs, fucking Jordan ones. I saw those gonna come out. Now you can find it in gold, but they are not cheap. No. You know what's funny is is my my feed are a sixty percent shoe shit. <laughs> where I see these people going to like shoe con, mm-hmm. and I watch these guys drop five grand on a pair of shoes, and I I, I just I I like you like shoes a lot more than I do. I enjoy shoes now, mm-hmm. but it's just like oh that makes no sense to me, yeah. right? Like I would like to like see what I would like to see what your car looks like, right? Oh yeah, yeah. If if you're gonna go and you're gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna drop this," I would love to see what your car is. Because if you're driving a Honda Civic, you can fuck off, <laughs> right? Dude, there's another there's another <clears throat> sneaker store in Sandy, I think. Uh, George Lee sent it to me. He's like, "You should go check this out." I was like, mm-hmm. "But uh, before we forget, speaking of bands." The original Blink-182 is getting back together, I dude. I saw that, dude. I saw the original Tom, Tom joined, DeLong, the, d- joined the band again. Yeah. Um, and No, in fact, the new song dropped today. Uh, called yeah, yeah. Edging. Edging. Have you, watched, have you listened nah, to it? Right. I haven't listened to it yet either. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Um, let's go get kicked off of YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we're, we're friends with a guy. Both of us are friends with a guy. and He made a comment about... Um, Blink One Eighty Two is one of the worst bands. Wait, I just saw this. <clears throat> oh, and, and for a second, uh, yeah, yeah, and okay. for a second, I stopped, and I thought I wanted to come in. So I was bad. like, "Oh, wait a sec. Wait, did did you say what I? Does he have a? And then I thought, I know who it is. No, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, and this takes me back to. <laughs> This is a harsh one for me. This is a harsh reality for me. It's a harsh not life. <laughs> that was corny as shit. Um, when I was... When I was a young boy. Um, Oh, you're getting another course there, huh, buddy? Are you not going to drink this anymore? Going deep in the paint. They have too many carbs for me. <laughs> anyway. Um, when I was 17, I got in trouble when I was younger. I was a bad kid. <clears throat> I've grown up since then. But I went to uh, a detention center. Oh, nice. Jail for Ooh. juvies. And they used to play, we used to watch TV every so often, but it was that one that you would, we've talked about this on the podcast, when you would call and request. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> and they would, um, it's about that time when, what's that song? Damn it. It's when Blink-182 blew the fuck up when they had the Dude Ranch CD. Was it any old and small things? No. No, it was before that. Okay. <clears throat> we'll have to play the song afterwards, but that song played over and over and over and over and over. That one <clears throat> and Primus's Winona's Big Brown Beaver. Do you remember the Duracell commercials mm-hmm. when they were dressed up like those? But they did that yeah. on, the, on the music video, and I, I clearly remember it. As I hear that song in that band, I, it takes me back to those times <laughs> when I had to wear a, a blue shirt. <laughs> All blue shirt, ah, ah. blue sweats, Ugh. and blue those slip on no no yeah, laces yeah. Mm-hmm. shoes. And you weren't allowed to take your shoes inside your cell. Oh wow! Because you couldn't beat the shit out of your fucking cellmate <laughs> with your shoes, right? You had to leave them outside, right? And it was like <laughs> we waited for that perfect time when we got to watch TV. Do you know what that time meant? That time meant that yo, my celly is going to go out and watch TV. I'm going to take a shit, finally, oh, that wow. I've been holding for hours. That's going to be horrible, isn't it? Because 
if we had an agreement, me and the cellmate, uh, he was like, I'm like, yo, now this, I was in there for pot. I got busted with a small bag of marijuana, right? <laughs> you're the, the way you this dude's you're all, talking like, like you were Dahmer's fucking helper. Yeah, you right. Know? I, I was there for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, that dude, I'm like, so yo, what, what are you in for? He's like, I got busted with uh, a kilo of cocaine and a handgun. I was like, oh shit. Latin fella. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. But I probably all, know him. That is, as soon as he's like, yo, and he had been there before, so he knew the rules. He's like, we're not going to have any problems. You don't shit when, I, when I'm in here, and I don't shit when you're in here. We good? I was like, oh, thank God. I, I mean, thank God. But I was like, yo, do you sit down when you pee too? Because <laughs> okay, if you could do that, if you could do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I, I like. I could see me going like, "All right, let's do that," but I go where it calls, dude. You couldn't, dude. You couldn't. But, uh, you but, had to hold it. There was two times throughout the day where you were allowed to go take a shit when your celly was not in there. No, well, hold on. So, so when dude, you, I did twenty five hard days. <laughs> I should have got a teardrop in my fucking eye, <laughs> for God's sakes. <laughs> no, so when you, okay, so if you say, okay, so my cell is watching TV, I'm going to go shit. Yeah. So you go shit, there's no one in your cell. No. But people still see you, right? No, because it was around the corner. The door was open. The doors had to be open. Oh, But it okay. was around the corner, and the window was only like this big on the door. Okay, a big okay. solid metal door, and the walls were all concrete, right? God damn, look and how far the, you've gone, the, dude. Win the windows, <laughs> the, it, this, this fucking, this will bring you red right now. This is when I knew that I was like at my lowest point <laughs> in my yeah, life. I my right? life. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to write a letter to my girlfriend, right? <laughs> so you used to get pieces of paper, and, and you would write a letter, and you would write the corniest bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you would hand it off. Well, the guys that were like uh, guards, you could say, yeah. they weren't guards. They were more like, um, uh, not a therapist, but like a, what would you call like, um, like a guidance counselor kind mm -hmm. of in there, right? Counselor. All, all Polynesians. Ooh. All Polynesians. Fuck with them. Right? And you would write this corny ass letter to your girlfriend, right? And you would... Put it in the envelope and then you'd give it to them. They would pull it out and read it oh. because they had to read it to make sure you weren't fucking sending anything bad. Yeah, yeah. And what came in, they would read your shit too. Mm. So it was like you were like, I'm so lonely. I miss you. I just want to be with you so bad. And like, you know, but he's like, Yeah, them. you're a corny motherfucker. Pussy. And they would just roast your ass, dude. <laughs> I would sit in my cell, and my cell was across, or the, the place that I stayed in was across the road from Lagoon. You could see oh. the whole park. The window was the yeah, window was this big. From your <laughs> the, window was, the window was this fucking big, enough for you to just look your little eyes Everybody and just see these these families having fun and enjoying themselves. Like, this is the best here, day ever. Here, I'm, waiting my, I'm waiting for my I'm waiting I'm waiting for my cell to air out from the cell of Latin shit. <laughs> So I can breathe. <laughs> and, and yo, so there was the metal toilet and the drinking fountain was this I far away it. from the shitter. <laughs> Bar none, I never drank water when I was yo, in there. How the fuck do you, how come I never know this? I never knew this. I keep some shit pretty <laughs> private. <laughs> what are you putting the most on the fucking podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, so the day, that, so I got, <laughs> I went to court. Okay. My family went with my mom, my dad. I dressed up in a, a certain a shoot and tie, right? <clears throat> I go in and uh, the judge is all, well, this is obviously a problem with you. I'm going to send it to you to 25 days. And uh, this place is called Farmington Bay at the, at the time. Mm. And I knew what Farmington Bay was, right? <laughs> So the judge is all, yeah, 25 days. After 25 days, you'll be on probation for this. Your fine is this, yada, yada, yada. Next. And I was like, woo, 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 woo. and the, and the, the cop grabs me and, the, you, and being hauls, me, yeah. hauls me right fucking away. He puts me in this little cell, right? I'm in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. And he's like, uh, okay, it's time to go. They grab me after court. They put me in a cop car. Cop car drives me to this place. I go in. Oh, this is so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I empty my pockets and they put it in a bin. They give me a set of clothes and they're like, before you put those on, 
go in that bathroom, take all your clothes off. I need you to spread your legs. And you could have used my underwear. <laughs> I could have. I could have. <laughs> I wore my You're best going back underwear. To parole yeah. office, <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> And uh, I got violated. Ooh. I got violated so they went in there. to make sure I I didn't have anything uh, hiding yeah. in there, right? And at worst what worst is it time, called? what is it, uh, 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 like a uh, body cavity fucking no, search. but no, but it's called like a a, a booty wallet or something like that. <clears throat> booty wallet. When you just oh shove yeah, things when in you there. Fucking, you walk through it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so at that point they're like, "Hey, put your clothes on." I'm just shaking and scared, right? I just had my cherry popped by a fucking tongan. <laughs> the right biggest, you got the <laughs> biggest tongan, by the way. <laughs> hey, so why you why why you got a hard on? <laughs> you know, I have so many fucking stories. Really? But anyway, I walk in, so they take me to the the area I was in detention, not in high security because I wasn't like a violent. Mm. I didn't have a violent crime, so I go in, and it's this big area. There's a TV. There's like a a place where you sit down and eat every day, and then there was some chairs lined out, and then all around the room are all the cells. And as I walk in, you could always hear the doors go. Bing, really loud to open the doors and so everybody would stand up and look through the fucking window <laughs> and so as i get in everybody I'm, goes you know, wilson yeah everybody everybody <laughs> had their face to see the fresh blood that was coming in here right the fucking fresh meat and i go in there and, and it was the it was the most embarrassing part, part of my life <clears throat> i walked in and i look over and one of my Best friends is all yeah yeah you got it like, like, so yeah other. fuck yeah <laughs> and I I hadn't seen this guy in a while I didn't know what happened to him right but uh, so I had a friend they put me in my cell and it was you were by yourself when you first get in there and I bawled God, for fucking hours cried that I had just that I was like what am I gonna tell them I I can't breathe so they'll let me out and they're like fuck you dude just like every other motherfucker and then after that it was just in the middle of crying your cell is like. Hey, you want to get out? I got to take a huge dump. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was nobody in there at the time, right? But it started to get really busy. And so they're like, hey, you're getting a celly, right? Ooh, yeah. You're going to have a cellmate. And then they would bring you a fucking mattress and they would put it on the floor. And so God the, damn, the, the, guy that, the guy that was um, like uh, had seniority got the bed. Oh, but yeah. the bed was just concrete <laughs> anyway. You were just standing up a little bit higher, right? So at that point, after a day or so, I realized, oh, this is just fuck off time. Mm. Because we wake up, we would eat a pretty good breakfast, mm. right? You would go back in your cell for an hour. You'd play cards or whatever. They would let you out. You would run around the track and do exercises and stretches. You'd play basketball for an hour or so. This is back when I was a baller, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was just kind of fuck off time. Go back, have lunch, watch TV. You get locked back up for another hour. Just play cards and do whatever. And it was just like a fucking socialized time, yeah. right? <clears throat> Actually... Not that I didn't like it, but you've I was been, like... You've been podcasting since you were younger. Dude. Oh, yeah, I was <laughs> podcasting back then, right? But, uh, yeah, I, I I could tell you one story, and I'm not going to say it on here because it's it's it involves a little bit yeah. more, but it, I, it's I'll never forget, dude. Never forget. I guess if you, if you put it... Obviously, I've never been, right? But I think if you get to be in a position where you, you're you're well known and you're friends with anybody, everybody. And then you don't get to be inside of those. Uh, what do you call it? Like when you do something fucked up and they put you in solitary a confinement, solitary confinement. If you're in, in gen pop, that's mm -hmm. ah, see if you're in gen pop and it's, and, and you're cool with everybody. I think it'd be sort of <clears throat> doable. I guess my parents came and saw me every day. <clears throat> Every day? Every day. For 25 days? They would switch. So one would show up one day, the other one would show up the other day. And they came and saw me every day. And it was it was tough. I That was the <clears throat> that was the turning point in my life where I realized I probably should get on the straight and narrow. And from that point, I was a pretty goddamn good kid. To say that you've, you've got into your... People, oh, once you get into the system, you can't get back out. I'm the one story was like, I learned my fucking yeah. lesson, right? Was I... <clears throat> perfect at that point no but i became really smart about the things that i did and i didn't put myself in those situations so the system worked for me yeah 
And you're perfect now. <clears throat> I am perfect now, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking successful. Did I tell you that I, I, I did that shit to my, to my mom the whole time when we were there? I said to her... Uh, In hey, Mexico, right? Yeah, I, I, I would say, hey, let's... Uh, Let's do this thing or whatever. And, and I said, all right, I'll pay for it. And, and she was like, really? I'm like, hey, I'm like, we're successful. <laughs> like, I would say that, like, with, with that fucking, with that annoying fucking, but hey, 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 hey. Her and my sister, hey, look at me. We're successful. Okay? You're talking about a podcast, yeah, I'm like, podcaster. Hey, we're successful. So the whole time we're there, <clears throat> so they would bust my balls. I was like, hey, are you going to buy cigars for us again? No, nah, like I said, my cigar was 80 fucking dollars. I'm like, uh, my mom is like, I thought we were successful. Oh, Every fucking time. She turned it on you. <laughs> Every fucking time. Good for her. Because it happened. Did I tell you that my mother wants to buy a fucking Bronco? You, I think you mentioned that me. Um, he, he he wants to buy one. I said, Mom, just do it. I'm like, you have no one to worry about. This, this is this is your time Treat now. yourself. Yeah. yeah. She's still she's obviously smarter than me when it comes to money. And she's like, nah. And I, I'm like... Like, but we're successful. Like, we're, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so now my sister. <laughs> Yo, if, she gets, if she gets a Bronco, she has to get successful on the license plate. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beehive mom or something like that. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I, uh, I, I was talking. You know how I told you I owe my sister money? So I gave her the half last weekend, right? And uh, t- today she fucking texted me and she goes, uh, oh, what the fuck did she say? I got to read it because it's, so, it's just a, a, t- a small fucking thing. Uh, she said, oh, she says, it's fr- with a lot of A's. It's Friday. <laughs> he goes, Collection notice. Oh, <laughs> like, you mother bitch. bitch. Like, what a fucking <laughs> asshole. And if I don't say anything, she will text me back and say, I thought we were successful. Oh, good for her. <laughs> like, God damn it. I'm like, listen, I came back. I I, I lost a, a, a week of, of work. I'm like, just give me, a, I'll give it to you. I'm like, I have it, but relax. He said, it's all good. <laughs> That's Same awesome. thing with my mom. My mom was like, did you pay your sister? I'm like, I'm like hey. Of course your I'm mom. Like, hey, next check, I'll give her half. And she goes, but. But I thought we were successful. <laughs> Isn't that the thing? When you have a bill or you owe money, now you know you could pay the whole thing. But it's like, mm-hmm. hey, yeah. how about I give you half? Yeah. Same thing with the last time I used my uh, <clears throat> my credit card, for example. I figured I need to use it. Mm-hmm. I, need to, I need to keep it moving. So I bought a, I think I pay a couple bills or whatever. And I'm like, I have the money to just go <laughs> Here it is. Put it back to, you know, zero again. But I'm like. But it's smart on a credit card yeah. if you don't. Yeah. If I'm you, like, if you make it. payments. Let me stretch it. Now, still, the payment is like $25 and I put in 100 Yeah. But it's still like. It's good for your credit. Oh, dude, my credit? You got white boy credit, huh? You know what happened to us yesterday? <laughs> I was doing Dre Espanol and, and uh, Dre has that. Dre has this light. Yeah. Looking at him. And uh, and sometimes we used to get our photo taken for when we do the promo, or whatever. And uh, and he was doing the video. We had a light here, and <laughs> I did it, but it reminded me of you because I just looked at it and I went, "Is that fame?" <laughs> <laughs> That's old school. That was, fuck, that was before we fucking started way podcasting. back there. <laughs> Is that fame right there? <laughs> Oh, let me just explain, people. I was, I was texting, dude. dude I want to say, I don't. Uh, how long have you been here in this company? Five, five years. Okay, so it was probably after, <clears throat> after you left. Cause we were texting. I, I, I want to say that was either texting or Snapchat. And I'm like, yeah, dude, we should be able to get this podcast going and this. And I got, I bought this, and we can just start working on it. And, and you sent me a picture. It was you with your glasses. And it was a picture. You, you took a selfie. But you were looking at the sun. <laughs> the fucking, in the fucking wars for like, you, you, have your, you have your, a visor made out of your hand just looking at the fucking sun. And you're like, is that fame right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, the good old times. You know what one popped up the other day? The one that started this whole fucking relationship. Mm. Had the old fucking boxer 
the old fucking oh, old time yeah, boxer. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. Um, kidney stones. You mean, <laughs> you mean dick, dick bullets? bullets? <laughs> 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 what was the other one? This is. <clears throat> Like when he's talking about when he's talking about work and it was he says gloves you mean bitch mittens or something like that like oven mittens but yo when's your next tattoo appointment um I talked to homeboy and uh, oh actually my next one is coming up soon in here oh <laughs> no I I talked to him and he he uh, I didn't. I didn't schedule it because we, I might be out of town, but he's like, I can get you in January. And I was like, it kind of sucks. And I'm like, mm, yeah, you know, but it's because when he did this, <clears throat> it was a chunk of money that I gave him. So I was like, instead of grabbing more money and separating my next appointment, I'm just, I'm just going to lay low for a, minute. for a minute. Yeah. But yeah. Cause I haven't got a tattoo in, I mean, we're coming up on almost a year that, but I was going every three months mm -hmm. when I, in fact, I was a, a so, guy, I, you and your wife, I was so fucking jealous. I'm like, God damn it. The kid, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my, uh, intern mm -hmm. asked me, he's like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. What, what does something like that cost? I'm like, You're the beat hey, Molly, yo, homie. I'm like, I'm in my arm when I sat down and thought about it. I'm like a couple thousand mm -hmm. dollars easily. Right, and I've had some rework stuff done, like had him go over and change some yeah. stuff, but like easily, probably three thousand dollars just on a sleeve. I mean, it, 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 I mean, it depends. You know how? I mean, obviously, as as bad as it sounds, the more you spend, the better it's going to be. You Absolutely, know I mean? like you don't want somebody who's been. I can do it for two hundred bucks, like. Yeah, I went <clears throat> before I left. Before I left uh, Company One, he left first. But there was a guy that that uh, that had the gun and had the drawing skills or whatever. But I talked to somebody else that went and got work with him or by him, and I went, "Listen, and no disrespect, because I really like this guy." And I and I and I said it in front of him. <clears throat> I said. If he was that good, he wouldn't be here working. Right, right. If he does it on the side, he should, I mean, you know what I mean? That should tell you something. But I'm like, on the other hand, you do you. Yeah. I'm like, and it wasn't a bad tattoo, but I'm like, I just don't see me going like, oh, you do tattoos? I still want to do my hand so bad. I can do it. That's the next one. I just have to figure it out, though. I have to figure You're gonna it out. You're going to be okay with work? Yeah. Did you like Jake or or Jay o Okerson? Yeah, Okerson? Big Jay. Wear the fucking wear fingerless gloves? gloves. Why? That's just him. He's just always it's warm. so weird. It's always warm. The, the fact that he opened for Corn. <clears throat> I just he heard went on, He went on tour with Corn and opened for them. <laughs> Could you imagine going to a concert? Dude, I'll be honest. <clears throat> I, I uh, ever since Wolf was doing the... The fighter in the key when there was no Callen. Now I'm like, next time he comes, I need to go see him. I'd go see Josh. With, yeah. It blows me away that he's 54. 53. Don't, don't look like <clears throat> No, looks good. Pothead, too. Seen his wife? No. Uh, smoke show. Oh, <clears throat> I, think I, I think I have. The smoke show. Yeah. Dude, what about Dragon's girlfriend, huh? Yo, I sent you that picture. I was like, what in the fuck is this? <laughs> you all asked me, you're all, where did you get this? <laughs> and the explanation that I had that, I was like, of course this guy commented on his shit. <laughs> Shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, no bad. I told you uh, uh, she looked like this girl. I, I'll, sh I'll show her to you when we're done. Um, I know who it is. <clears throat> Do you? Yeah, the Viking Barbie. Yeah. Yeah, I she's, know who that she's is. A hottie. But, uh, yeah, when you send it to me, I'm like, God damn. Good for you, Dragon. Good for you, Dragon. dragon. Do you balls. think she calls him Dragon? Oh, I bet. No, I, no, you know what? I bet he's like, call me Dragon. Excuse me? He's like, just call me Dragon. When I, so, you okay. know, I went balls deep into that. I was like, I, I boasted about it on the podcast. I'm like, Yo, guess what's coming on? 
Ma, they're going to do a fucking show about the fucking Skinwalker yeah. Ranch. I'm so excited. <clears throat> and the first three minutes, when this guy says, I'm security, my name's Dragon, I says, I'm out. I'm out. I'm dude. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking out. <laughs> you, you're not allowed to look like this and, and call, call yourself, yourself Dragon. dragon. <laughs> But also a dragon come to the show. Yeah. <laughs> no. Shout out to that guy. He's built a name for himself. Good for him. But I, 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 it was the, maybe and it was probably just the way that they, you, you hear it all the time. Like, um, especially on like the, the ultimate fighter, that reality show. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, they made me look like this. Yeah. Cause that's just what the show does. Like I'm the, actually I'm not really like this, but yeah. the show portrays me as this. And I'm sure that's what they did to him. Right. Yeah. But after I saw that, I was like, Oh no, this is a joke. It's like the, 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 from the diesel brothers. Yeah. The muscle, they played him as being the dumb one. And he's a very successful smart. fucking guy. He's very smart. He's, he's. Yeah. We should try and get him on the I'm, podcast. I'm, <laughs> Even if it's through Zoom. <laughs> For $2,000. You know what? I will, I, I will say... <laughs> I will say this. Shout out to Quinn. I know that he's like... Every time he mentions my name, he kind of throws shit at me, and then he goes... It's not like he listens. Why well, listen to every fucking episode that he, that, he, that he uploads? And shout out to him, because... We're not a fan of the Zoom thing. Mm -hmm. We had this very clearly from day one. In one of his episodes, he's talking to the people that he has on the show, and he flat out drops just like nothing. He goes, oh, I was talking to uh, Kevin Bacon. And they go like, w Who? It's like Kevin Bacon, the actor. And he goes, no, 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 we know who that is. Why are you talking to him? Well, I'm asking him if he'll do the show. And they, resp they and as far as I know, he responded to him. He, I don't think he's going to do it, but he, the fact that he's like, oh, you know, thanks for the, the fact that he's responding. Again, shout out to him because he want, he's okay doing the Zoom thing. right? Yeah. So he's like, hey, and obviously doing the Zoom, you can sky, go the way sky's outside. the limit. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. As long as somebody as somebody goes, uh, yeah, I'll do it for whatever, you know. And I guess that guy, that one guy, uh, Root Jude, I don't know yeah. who he is, but yeah. that was a good episode. It was a great episode. It was a good episode. And uh and apparently that's that episode blew up when it comes, you know, when it comes to the uh the the you in a basement. Um But it's you know, shout out to you. I mean, it's not <clears throat> So, we'll probably be more successful if we did so, that, but. And, 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 and I'm sure, I'm sure. But it's, it's also, just, but it's also the fact that we're not set up for it, right? Right. Like the way we have our stuff is like we're we're set up to come and chill, and hang out. Like we don't right. have headphones. We don't, we we couldn't do the zoom. I mean, we can. We've done it. But this is not. It wasn't thought to, you know, in order for for us to attack that shit. I think just because the format of our show yeah, and the format of the shows that we follow mm -hmm. don't do that, right? But I will say there's a ton of really good podcasts that do that. Yeah. And, you know, again, shout out to Quinn. That, yeah. that, that's what makes him so successful that mm -hmm. he can step outside that element and say, well, I'll get this guy, right? Yeah. Not everybody can just at the drop of a hat, come to the fucking armpit of fucking Utah mm -hmm. to record, but he's kept it fucking going. And my, yeah. Mad respects to the guy. Yeah, shout out to Quint, to him. He He's lost two or three co-hosts, and he's and he tells me every time, he's like, dude, I just lost so-and-so. I was like, I'm like, here's the thing, though. Like, I, and there's no disrespect to anybody. <clears throat> Whoever listens to the to the bait to the 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 ba the you in a basement is because of you yeah of, absolutely you know well the you in a basement because of you and your guests is quinn it's not your right? yeah exactly so i'm like fuck man if it if you have to go back to basics and drop your fucking gay ass recipes and <laughs> you do that <laughs> just busting his balls <laughs> <laughs> you do that but i mean <clears throat> but now he's got he's got it to where people are posting like they're hunting stuff on, mm -hmm. on his mm -hmm. Facebook and he's sharing it. So 
you know, you have that interaction with people, which is cool. You know what I mean? It's a great community. Yeah, he's built yeah. something pretty fucking special and, and over and there, I, that guy. I told him from the get-go, I'm like, the fact that you're there and it's so isolated, yeah. I'm like, you could be fucking king shit. Yeah. I'll bet he is king shit over there. Probably, he probably, he's probably well known. He now. goes to that one gas station. Yeah, and he's like, oh my you god. You know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only one? <laughs> the one where, where all the dogs are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take a piss. How, how long have we been going for? I don't know. Brian, how long have we been going for? Oh, we're good. 160. You wanna get out of here? Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in this episode 195. We're coming up on our 200. I got some, uh, I got some stuff for us. Uh, but I won't enjoy him until you enjoy him. So it's going to be a mutual kind of, oh, kind of okay. surprise. Um, also, Joe Rogan will be here for our 200th. Uh, yeah, he is. He, in fact, he just confirmed. He just confirmed. <clears throat> he, he drove by. He's, he's going to that Mexican concert. <laughs> the complex. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. You can catch me at Angel Severa on Instagram, Angel Severa on Facebook, and I'm also doing No Hablo de Español with Dre. We're trying to give uh, $50 gift cards. All you got to do is wait for that right post and comment where you're listening to us from. And uh, we'll have uh, Dre Rocca himself drive you uh, drive to your house and give you a gift card. Oh, what a beautiful individual. Oh, that's, that's how you, know. you can, you him, can right? follow that on uh, Spanish Laughs on Instagram and also No Hablo de Español on YouTube and let us be your uh, daily content creators. Bitchin'. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be in uh, oh, yeah, you're Hurricane gone, Utah. Uh, give us your dates. Uh, <clears throat> Hurricane Utah, uh, <laughs> October 18th through the 25th. The tickets are just about sold out. So um, if you're going to get those, if they do sell out, I will add another will show. Add another <laughs> <laughs> so that, but, uh, yo, in fact, if you want me to come to your town, just let me know. <laughs> Uh, get a hold of me at Lord underscore long balls with a Z. If any podcast wants, any to, podcast. Wants, to, wants to hook up while I'm around there. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, no, go to the YouTube page. Uh, appreciate it again, everybody. It's blowing up. Uh, we can't thank you enough. And uh, I'm excited for 200, man. I'm excited for 200 after 200. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, also, uh, before we go, next Friday, the whatever day is, uh, we're celebrating Brian's birthday at Chakra Lounge, and I'll be there. Nice. Um, it'll be awesome to show him some love and show up and hang out with him. Uh, he's still a part of the show. He's just behind, he's on hiatus right behind now. Behind doors, and by that I mean the doors of his office. No, don't think that the Brian's left. Brian yeah. still comes in, yeah. and Brian takes care of all the the hard stuff. We come in here, do the easy. He has shit. to take in the garbage out, but that's we'll, we'll talk to him. <laughs> yeah, about we'll talk it. to him later. <laughs> well, he might be here next and he week. He also right? came so, back from. Yo, by the way, I will call him out on this. He went. In, he went to Disney. Took his kid, his mom, and uh, sister, uh, niece, whatever. Brian is a sneakerhead. Yeah. And he took a photo with Mickey Mouse. His son wearing Crocs. Oh, no. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there. And we will see you on the other side of the beehive. Really on Crocs? Mm-hmm. Mm. He lost his stripe there, B. Peace!